Hey guys, uh, welcome to this tutorial on reamping in the mix using the AxeFX2 in uh, Reaper. A big thank you to Paul Map 806 from the Fractal Audio Forums who uh, helped me uh, figure all this stuff out. Now, uh, obviously you need the AxeFX, but you also need the other, another audio interface or sound card. Uh, the reason for this is the AxeFX will do uh, the amp modeling and cab modeling or whatever uh, to any signal that can go into it. Uh, so if you want to reamp just the guitars, it, you will feed in the dry guitar signal, and it will do that. However, it will all, it will re it will do all the processing to any uh, signal coming in. So it will do it to let's say the drums that are there and all the other instruments. So the reason you need another audio interface is you want the Axe Effects to just do its magic on just the guitars, and uh, you uh, want the other sound card to just play back uh, the rest of it. So by doing this, you can tweak the uh, amp sounds and the other processing on the Axe Effects. So that will do its magic just on the guitar signal, and uh, the other sound card will play the rest, and you can tweak in the context of the mix. Okay, so uh, you will need obviously another audio interface. You can use the sound card on your computer uh, or an external one. I'm using uh, my old Pod X3. Uh, the first thing you want to do is download a piece of software called ASIO for All. Uh, I'll give a link in the description. And once you've done that, go to uh, go to Options and Preferences to set up the sound cards. So usually this is how I have everything set up. The I record with the Axe Effects. I play back with the Axe Effects. It's nice and simple. Everything's there. However, if you want to reamp, you can't do that. So you go to here and you go to ASO for all on the driver selection. You go to the configuration and you select which sound cards you want. So uh, obviously this is my other sound card, the Pod, uh, Pod X3. Obviously you want the Axe Effects too. Uh, if you're using the sound card in your computer, you will probably click on this one. Uh, and this is just the microphone in my webcam. Okay, so the inputs, uh, you just want the Axe Effects inputs. Uh, that's fine because that's the only thing you're going to record with. Uh, however, the outputs, you don't just want the Axe Effects, you want the other sound card as well. So you go here and you click uh, the, pod, uh, the, the second channel, so it's one and two. And this is because you want the sound of stereo, of course, if you want it in the context of the mix. Okay, so we've got that all set up, that's fine. Um, however, if we want to record, if you look at the inputs here, it's going input one and two. So this will be recording the process sound left and right. And we don't want this. We want the purely dry signal so we can reamp it later. So you go to mono because the guitar signal is in mono. So number one would be uh, the left uh, channel that's been processed. Number two would be the right channel that's processed. And I think three would just be the, uh, the dry signal. I, I don't know what number four is. So I'm sure someone will, will tell me. OK. Um, so here I will be, it's just a simple drum loop, I'm just going to play like a chord over it and uh, to show you how uh, we uh, reamp. Okay, the next thing you want to do is press the I.O. button on the Axe FX, then uh, go on the page that says Audio, and where it says Main Input Source, change that to USB. Uh, this will then make the Axis AxeFX process the signals coming into uh, the unit. Okay, so what you just heard was the dry signal uh, coming into the AxeFX without any processing. In fact, I should probably uh, rename this channel Dry Guitar. Uh, and then from this, uh, this is the, what you want to reamp from. So you create a new channel and put this as Guitar and uh, your inputs uh, should be should be this, so this will be the Axe FX processing everything. And if you uh, changed uh, the settings before uh, on the Axe FX, the I.O. to USB, then now it should reamp everything coming in. Uh, however, you can obviously see the problem that uh, you, are, you just want to reamp the guitars, you don't want to reamp everything else with it. So, for example, I'll just play this to you, uh, reamped now. It's going to sound absolutely horrible because the drums are going to be going through as well. So that was quite horrible. Um, so uh, we have to try and make it that the drums are being sent to the other sound card and it's just being played back. The way you go, uh, the way you do this, you go into the I/O, 
make sure you untick this because this is still going through the Axe Effects because it's the main sound card. And uh, you go to add new hardware output and as you know mine is the pod which is the other one. So you click on it there. Uh, and now uh, you should have it as the guitars are just being processed by the Axe Effects and everything else is coming out of the other sound card. So if we click record now uh, we should get a reamped guitar and just the normal drums. Okay, great. Um, but you know, uh, now let's say, oh, I, I want a different uh, a different amp or whatever. Then uh, you can delete this and just go with. A completely different amp. Um, let's say this one for example and just uh, record that one. So you have that there and you are uh, tweaking the guitars during the drums and this is uh, you know this is fantastic because you can uh, and I haven't done this, but I mean, you can do it while the drums are going. You can uh, tweak the amp settings on your Axe Effects or Axe Edit, and uh, tweak it with the whole mix. And if you imagine uh, you have you know all other instruments in there, this will be absolutely fantastic uh, to be able to reamp right in the mix. Um, so really, that's it basically. Um, you know, uh, hope you liked this video. It was uh, it was great when I found out how you can do this, and uh, I hope you guys do it as well.